You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 29th, 2022, I'm reading a narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Becoming a Tree, Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 to 32. Jesus told them another picture story. He said, the holy nation of heaven is like mustard seed, which a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of seeds. When it is full grown, it is larger than the grain of the fields, and it becomes a tree. The birds of the sky come and stay in its branches. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 29th, 2022, I'm reading a narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Becoming a Tree, Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 to 32. Jesus told them another picture story. He said, the holy nation of heaven is like mustard seed, which a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of seeds. When it is full grown, it is larger than the grain of the fields, and it becomes a tree. The birds of the sky You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 29th, 2022, I'm reading a narration of the autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English Mystery Message, Becoming a Tree, Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 to 32. Jesus told them another picture story. He said, the holy nation of heaven is like mustard seed, which a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of seeds. When it is full grown, it is larger than the grain of the fields, and it becomes a tree. The birds of the sky come and stay in its branches.
You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 29th, 2022, our previous narration will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's English ministry message, Becoming a Tree, Matthew chapter 13, verse 31 to 32. Jesus told them another picture story. He said, The holy nation of heaven is like mustard seed, which a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of seeds. When it is full grown, it is larger than the grain of the fields, and it becomes a tree. The birds of the sky come and stay in its branches. What's up, guys? Today we're covering the parable of the mustard seed looked at through Matthew 13, 31 through 32. Let's do it. The parable of the mustard seed. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. So let's explore this concept deeper. A mustard seed is only one to two millimeters in diameter, so it's extremely small. And the point is, it doesn't have to be a large seed for it to grow into a large plant. This brings me a lot of comfort because God knows his people. He knew that in the face of adversities and complications, that the world has a way of choking out the faith that we have, but he's saying, all it takes is a little faith. Don't lose hope. Don't lose sight. Don't give up. It just takes a little faith. Sometimes hope, patience, strength, faith is your only option. There may be no other options, but just to endure. And if your only option is to endure, then endure with faith. Know that what you're going through will get better. Know that what you're going through won't last forever. Know that God will make a way for you, just as he did for Moses when splitting the Red Sea. You are not alone. You are never alone. And the point of this message is to remind you to endure. Just a little faith can get you to the next step, can get you to the next place that you're supposed to be. Thanks for checking out this video. As always, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my husband's YouTube channel, Bullets and Burnouts. It's a great place to find out about guns, about automotive, but more importantly, about political events going on in this world. And it's just a great way to stay vigilant and be alert. Hope to catch you guys back on another Sunday. Hope you have a blessed week. Love y'all. Peace.